while at a non-televised show in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a woman decided yep. to lick the legend killer's <laughs> chest. She didn't go in for a kiss or a touch. <laughs> he was so chill. He's like, yeah, I know you like that because you a nasty little. <laughs> All right, I'm done, y'all. I'm done. I promise I'm done. He wanted What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross. Back at it again with another video. So we're going to check out 15 WWE fans who went too far. We've checked out similar videos of instances where wrestling fans get a little bit too overzealous or go a little bit too far when it comes to like meeting a wrestler or being at the shows and trying to grope on different wrestlers so we're gonna check out uh some more of these instances of the fans going a little bit too far when it comes to being at these events or at these conventions meeting these individuals you guys gotta keep your hands to yourself yes you paid hard your hard-earned money to be at these venues and events but you it does not give you the right to put your hands on these individuals bro so we're gonna check this out should be a good one appreciate all the love and support let's get right into this one man wrestling fans are some of the most energetic and passionate people in the world however fans do overstep their boundaries and have inappropriately touched the wrestlers triple h and kane's championship versus yeah well, i get it we, we may give that one fan a little bit of a pass he kind of can't win it a little bit too too hot and heavy but we, we'll give him a little bit of a pass he, he was just really excited so we'll, we'll we'll give him a pass but everyone else that know what they're doing got their you know their you know the common sense not to do certain things y'all don't get a pass match is mostly remembered for kane's dramatic unmasking after the match mm -hmm. however one female fan in the audience made the night memorable for a different reason about a minute into the match kane and triple h went over the barricade and started fighting amongst the fans a woman in the front row was right up against the game oh, she's loving decided it decided to touch triple h's back it was incredibly subtle and most viewers didn't see it wow the game himself didn't even sell the inappropriate time <laughs> let a man do that cancelled <laughs> We're not going to get into that. <laughs> when he first appeared in the main roster, Rowan Reigns, along with Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, would always walk through the crowd when they made their entrance. Even after the group ended, Rowan Reigns continued to enter through the audience. Yep. But these incidents That's are the probably dog. the reasons why he stopped doing <laughs> it. During a match against Fandango on SmackDown, Reigns was making his entrance like normal. However, a woman standing next to Roman thought she wasn't close enough and decided to rub her hand along with Oh, yeah, I remember this. The fan's reaction afterward says it all. Yeah. And Different she event. she definitely became moist. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. And a fan went even further. While walking through the crowd, a woman tried to get Rowan Reigns to touch her chest. Jeez, even Rowan Reigns Whoa. was surprised by it. <laughs> One fan incident was so weird that WWE decided to erase it from history. Shortly after the Shield broke up, Rowan was making his usual entrance. Hey, this got a lot of Roman Reigns clips in it. Y'all, y'all women can't control yourselves. You heathens. <laughs> For a match against Kane on SmackDown, a girl decided to grab Roman's hand yep. and Reigns had to actually swipe her away. Damn. Maybe WWE felt like Rowan Reigns was too aggressive or something, but either way, they decided to remove the incident when the show was made available on the WWE Oh, Network. wow. If all that seemed inappropriate, mm -mm -mm. just wait till you watch this. During Randy Orton's early years in WWE, he had this ladies' man persona. Now, whether this is part of the script or it was just Orton I remember himself, this scene this clip. Debate, but one female fan did decided to play a lawn while at a non-televised show in milwaukee wisconsin a woman decided yep. to lick the legend killer's <laughs> chest she didn't go in for a kiss or a touch <laughs> he was so chill he's like yeah i know you like that because you a nasty little <laughs> all right i'm done y'all i'm done i promise i'm done he wanted a lick yeah randy's face tells it all <laughs> so nonchalant yeah i know you like he that he stuck against adam cole in ring of honor the two put on an amazing show and the fans were eager to show their appreciation maybe a bit too eager after winning the match aj went to hug a fan only for that guy to go in for a kiss Whoa. styles immediately walked away but it was an incredibly awkward and inappropriate hey, moment man. besides Ch chill shows, out the man one other place where fans get relax close to their favorite wrestlers is at meet and greet events uh -oh. we've seen men do awkward and sometimes Cringe. inappropriate things to female wrestlers at Ugh. these events but it happens to male wrestlers too they look so uncomfortable fans, one woman was such a huge undertaker fan she decided to kiss the dead man it's unclear if the undertaker was comfortable with the kiss or not but at the very least this is very surprising to see and shocked a lot of people yeah nah because you know you know 
I don't think for certain someone would like that. But I, I'm pretty sure Michelle McCool didn't really trip. He he seemed kind of just like chill with it, so wasn't a big deal. But once again, y'all, males and females, y'all keep your lips to yourself, okay? For almost their entire WWE careers, the Bella Twins' entrance music has started by saying, you can look, but you can't touch. Someone's gonna definitely touch. Well, the Cleveland, <laughs> Ohio fan decided to ignore that. On an episode of Superstars, Nikki Bella was making her entrance and interacting with the crowd. One fan wanted a bit more than a high five and grabbed Nikki yeah. and gave her a kiss on the cheek. It should be noted that that yeah. particular fan has special needs mm -hmm. and regularly attends WWE events in Cleveland. Bro, he, he said, I'm going to get my kiss. Like I said, yeah, I get it. It probably shouldn't have happened, but at the same time, it's... He can somewhat get a, a a little bit of a pass there, like you know, I that that would be something I I'm pretty sure she probably was surprised and wasn't prepared for it, but at the same time, he kind of gets a pass there. So, yeah, he definitely has special needs. So, it's it's for you guys that know what you're doing. That's that's a that's a different story. Nikki Bella didn't seem too bothered by the surprise kiss. Yeah, she hit the, it was all smiles ooh. as she entered yeah, the she ring hit the, ooh, for match. Spicy. After a four month <laughs> hiatus, the boss returned to WWE and ignited a feud with Becky Lynch. This set up a match between the two at Clash of Champions for Becky's Raw Women's Championship. During the fight, Lynch accidentally took out the referee in the chair. With no one officiating the match, the two women started fighting into the crowd and around the arena. They eventually made their way back to ringside with Becky Lynch in control. As she was throwing Sasha Banks over the barricade, a fan in the front row reached out to touch Sasha's butt. I'll be a creep, Just a few bro. seconds later, that same fan also grabbed Banks by the arm, but let go very quickly. This caused quite an uproar online, but despite the outrage, the fan wasn't ejected from the building. A few days after the incident, it was reported that WWE was investigating the situation and would likely be issuing lifetime bans to anyone involved. Banks herself said on social media she would be suing Fan tried to touch uh uh Sasha's ass, Becky Lynch face, Ella, I'm suing. But nothing else was shared. Either way, the lesson here is don't be like this guy. Yeah, no, nah, don't be a creep, bro. Just relax, my boy. You're you're right there, you record the action. Enjoy the show being right there close to the action. Don't be a weirdo, don't be a creep. It's not cool. Stop it. Okay. In August of 2017, after competing in a match at an untelevised WWE Live event, Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss were leaving the ring. Jax was holding Bliss on her shoulder, and a young fan in the front row. Apparently, took Nia Jax is back. Uh, she uh, um, came back, I believe, at the end of Raw uh, for the uh, Raquel and Rhea rematch for the Women's uh, Championship, for the Heavyweight Championship, and apparently, she made her return, so. Some people are, you know, okay with her return. I've seen a lot of people saying, good God, no, she's back. So we'll see what they do with her. But I'm going to leave that for y'all to decide. Took the opportunity to give Alexa a pat on the butt. Whoa. Naya quickly turned around, but seemed to laugh it off when she realized it was a kid. Oh, so wow. <laughs> do we give the kid a pass? Because he's a kid. He knows what he's doing. Do we give him a pass? I don't know. I mean, obviously you shouldn't be doing that even as a kid, but I get it. I mean, I, I get, I understand. You know, he, he, he's growing up, <laughs> finding out women are awesome and great. So I get it, but at the same time, do we get the kid a pass? Y'all let me know. Does he get a pass? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know if I would probably would have did that as a kid. Most likely I probably wouldn't have because my mom would have been highly upset and my dad would have been highly upset but kids are gonna be kids i don't know <laughs> i think now i made the right move of not getting too mad if it was an adult young teen or adult uh i don't know <laughs> sometime after the incident alexa bliss was asked about it well, when it happened, I asked Naya because she was carrying me over her shoulders. I was like, is that you? And she was like, no. And like, we just walked back and we were just like, we laughed it off. But it Before oh, okay. a match against Oksana, Natalia was making her entrance like normal and celebrating. They didn't trip over it too much, so. She went to pose behind a group of attendees and a young child got a bit handsy and touched one of Natalia's breasts. Oh, it, wasn't it was pretty intentional, quick, yeah. And the kid was likely excited just yeah. to be so close to a WWE wrestler. Natalia didn't seem to even notice the touch and even gave the young fan a high five right after. That's afterwards. awesome, man. 
incidents of fans <laughs> touching female wrestlers haven't just happened. That's in awesome, TV. man. In 2019, the Mexican wrestling company AAA. We've seen a few clips of them Cancun on the main page. Total in Cancun. At the show, future WWE star oh, Scarlett I Bordeaux I think I've seen this. in a six-woman tag team match. At one point, Scarlett performed a crossbody. I'm back, y'all, man. My food just came in. I ordered me some DoorDash. Got me some Chipotle, man. Got me a burrito. Um, working a little bit late tonight trying to get some videos out. But back to this one. <laughs> a fan standing ringside pulled her towards them and began rubbing her body yep. with his hands. I remember Lady this. Shani, one of Bordeaux's tag team partners, pull her away from the barricade and out of the This was reach. too much. One WWE fan went way too far and started climbing the elimination chamber. To see that, watch this video. Ah, oh, man. But, uh, yeah. Don't be that guy. Males and females doing the most. Just relax. Just calm down. Yes, I know these wrestlers are attractive. You know? You're seeing the muscles. You're seeing the 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 sexiness from the ladies. Like, I get it. You want to get close and personal, but you can't. Most of these individuals are in committed relationships or married. So keep your hands to yourself. And even if they weren't, keep your hands to yourself. Okay? That's all I got to say. So I got to ask y'all a question. Comment down below. Let me know if a wrestler was cool with y'all touching them. Which wrestler would it be if you, if you had to choose? And would y'all actually agree to touch said wrestler if a wrestler was cool with you touching them which wrestler would you want it to be and would y'all actually do it I'm not saying go out and do it i'm just saying if it if a hypothetical situation happened just had to put that out there but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on next one peace